What's up everybody? Today is July 18th, 2023, and I have decided today to talk about chess. <laughs> you know, I normally I normally just talk about homelessness stuff and, you know, money or I don't know, job or any of that kind of stuff. But um I I know that at least a couple of my subscribers are because I've uploaded chess videos before too. So I figure it's only fair, at least every now and again, to talk about chess. However, I don't know what to talk about chess on this video. Um, Cause I have ideas for other chess videos. Maybe this video will be about what to talk about in chess in future videos. Like, I know I wanna do one on Who's the greatest player? Who's the greatest chess player of all time? I want to do one on computers and chess. Um, I was going to talk a little bit about chess history. You know, chess is a really old game, so yeah, I mean, I feel like I kind of have to go over that a little bit too. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll we'll we'll, we'll start off this uh, chess conversation. You know, not necessarily just this video, but like for however many videos I make on this topic talking about how I started in chess so my dad taught me chess when I was pretty young I want to say around 10 years old thereabouts and so I was born in 82 so around 92 sometime now it's important to note that I have not been playing like consistently since then or competitively or regularly like every day or whatever very much not so um that's just when i learned like the rules uh you know you gotta understand 92 let's just say it was 92 when i learned thereabouts right for those of you who are younger even if you do play chess you gotta understand that back then there was no online chess especially in 92 like, you know, nowadays there's all kinds of chess websites. Chess.com, lightchess.com. I mean, all kinds of chess websites. You get apps to play chess. You, you know, whatever. There's all kinds of online things to play chess against other humans or against the computer. Back then they did have um, computer programs to play against chess. I remember I had like Chess Master 9000. It might have been a couple years after that, but I remember I had yeah a, a game for the, the PC for you know the desktop computer um chess, like i said chess master 9000 i'd play against that but it was you know it was really good i couldn't beat it or nothing like that but um as far as playing against other people my point is that playing against other people you had to actually go to like a physical location either a chess club or um actually my dad would take me to uh, barnes and noble which is a bookstore in case you don't know and on certain nights i think it was like friday night they would set up some tables in Barnes and Noble just for guys to play chess. This was actually in um, in Ranch Cucamonga. We lived in Rialto at the time, and there was a Barnes and Noble in Ranch Cucamonga, California. Still there, but they don't do the chess anymore, I don't think. Um, but yeah, they would like there's like an open floor area. They would set up tables so guys could come in there and play chess. And I was one of the younger ones. I remember. I don't remember exactly what age I started going there or he started taking me there. But um, I, I fared pretty well. There, I remember the older guys were kind of impressed. They're like, "How old are you?" You know, because um, like I said, I did start when I was pretty young. So by the time I was 12, 13, 14, I was okay. You know, I'm not professional or anything, but I was actually sorry about the noise. The streets right next to me, the freeways right here. So sorry. So um, so yeah. So back then, it was just over the board chest. You know, just person to person, uh, not online. And so. If you didn't have somebody, you just didn't play. Whereas now, you know, it could be two o'clock in the morning and you can get a chess game. You can just go play online. It wasn't the case back then. Say I was, you know, up late night for whatever reason. It's 11, 12 o'clock at night. There's nobody to play chess with. I could play with my cousins, where like if they came to sleep over and, you know, I, I did do that sometimes with one of my cousins. But um, again, you know, you had to have someone to play with. There wasn't like this. You can always find an, an, an opponent at any time. So anyhow, so so yeah, I started around there, say like I said, say around 92. And I played sporadically, either at Barnes & Noble or against one of my cousins or, you know, just something like that. So 
definitely not every day maybe like once a week i would play you know if that right and not until i got arrested remember i got i got locked up at 18 and that's when i really started playing chess so in the united states or in california at least um when you get locked up they have things for you for the prisoners to do you know you could play car a lot of guys play cards or dominoes or work out or play chess or you know whatever they have like certain things that you can do you know and um so i found that out right away i went in there and i noticed you know some guys playing chess i was like oh i know how to play chess and i was actually better than like remember so now i'm 18 so i've been playing for several years now so i'm actually pretty good at this point and so i was pretty much swooping up on everybody at that point so anyhow so yeah so i got locked up i found out people play chess but i'm in jail i haven't got i haven't went to prison yet so i'm still fighting my case and so you know you gotta understand at the same time you know you're dealing with the stress of oh you know i don't know how much time i'm gonna get all this kind of stuff but yeah i'm still playing like every day like 10 20 games a day probably at least because there's a few guys in my pod or whatever it was called that played so yeah i was playing like every day now right and um so eventually i do get sentenced and i get sent up to prison and you know uh you know i, I get into the the routine of that figure out you know because you gotta bro, figure out you know the prison rules and all that kind of stuff but once basically once i settle in you know it's the same thing you know guys in prison they they have a program they do certain things like i said some guys work out some guys paint pictures or draw pictures or uh like i said some guys play dominoes or cards or whatever and there's a group of people who play chess and so again i started playing chess and so over that span of six years that i was incarcerated from 2000 to 2006 i played thousands of games i mean like i said at least 10 to 20 games a day maybe some days more maybe some days less but yeah probably a good average 10 to 20 games a day over the course of six years i mean you can just do say say 10 games a day there's 365 days a year times six years however many that is thousands right thousands of games see i played a lot of chess so by the time i got out i was actually pretty good for those of you who know the ranking system um the chess ranking system my um ELO was probably about 1900 at that time when I got out which is not professional level or anything but it's really good and I still kind of hover around that today I've kind of leveled off around that I could um sometimes like online I could get up to like 2000 maybe a little bit higher but um you know definitely I, I've never I've never been good enough to be any kind of like professional or semi-professional but definitely good enough to be the majority of people that I come across. So yeah, that's kind of my uh, that's kind of my my chess history. That's like I said, I've been playing pretty much on and off since '92, but fairly consistently since I got locked up in 2000. So I've been playing pretty much every day since 2000. So that's what 23 years now. You know, obviously there's some days exceptions here and there if I'm sick or got other things to do or whatever. I mean, obviously I've been homeless. You know but yeah i still do try to play online if i can if i could get like nowadays <laughs> it's funny it's funny 30 years later like i said when i first started playing chess it was only over the board there was no playing online against anybody right except the computer um and nowadays it's completely flipped it's kind of hard to find people to play you know in person nowadays and it's i play virtually all online so yeah 30 30 years later it flipped from when I started playing exclusively against, you know, face-to-face -face against people to now, pretty much all my games are just online to, you know, I don't, I don't see the face of the person. So yeah, that's, you know, funny how times change, even in chess, you know, even in chess, computers dominate in chess nowadays and um, everything is online. There's so much cheating nowadays because it is a lot of it's online and with computers and all that. But I'll get more into all that stuff in the other videos. I kind of just wanted to give an intro to me in chess. So, yeah. So, that's how I started chess. I'm a good 30, 30 years strong <laughs> into chess now. And, um, you know, 
I love it. It's one of the things that I really like to do in life. You know, some, I mean, some people have hobbies. Some people like welding. My dad, he used to like welding, and um, he liked building computers. And you know, some people like sports. Or my mom, she likes outdoor stuff, hiking and stuff like that. You know, everybody's got their own thing. My thing, I just I like chess. I kind of like video games in general, or games. I mean, in general. But yeah, chess is my favorite. Chess is by, by far, by far, my favorite game of all time, whether video game or board game. Okay, anyhow, that's chess. We've started the conversation. Um, I probably won't make a video, at least for a few days, about chess. Because like I said, it's only the minority of people who are subscribed to me who, um, who are into chess. I'm going to cross the street real quick. Trying to not die here while talking about chess. What an irony, huh? The thing I love, I die talking about. <laughs> so we don't want that to happen. Um... So yeah, so I'll, um, I will do other videos on chess, but maybe not, like I said, maybe not tomorrow or the next day, at least a few days. But um, and now I have officially sparked the conversation, so I will continue it eventually. Anyhow, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to me ramble about chess, especially if you, <laughs> you don't, you're not into chess at all. And I will see you guys next video.